Somewhere out over the broad Pacific, the greatest task force of ships and planes ever assembled steams to attack the Japanese on Wake Island. Flat tops bearing more planes than have ever before been carried into naval action, ready their fighters and dive bombers for the United States Navy's second major assault upon this vital enemy-held stronghold. Operating some 4,000 miles from the United States mainland, the Navy moves into waters less than 2,000 miles from Tokyo. It was here the Japanese attacked American Marines, even as their emissaries in Washington were talking of peace. Now, through the cottony puffs of clouds, Wake Island's strategic three square miles of sand and coral lies beneath the bomb sites of United States Navy planes, within firing range of the Navy's big guns. storage tanks, and gun emplacements are our principal objectives. Now comes a low-level bombing attack with the enemy airfield hit again and again. Japanese ship is caught within the fire of the fighter planes. The Navy's Grumman Hellcats sight and down a Japanese bomber. There goes another. Another. American losses, 13 planes, and but one pilot. Even this fellow lands safely. On the ground, more than 60 Japanese planes are destroyed. The Navy leaves Wake Island smoking. More than 700 tons of bombs, shells, and aerial high explosives are dropped. Wake Island, as an enemy stronghold, is reduced to a battered spot of sand in the Pacific. 